I'm Andrew Bastaurus. I am co-founder and CEO of Peak Vision, and I'm an assistant professor in international eye health at the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine. I grew up very short-sighted and was aware at a young age when I got my first pair of glasses the dramatic effect it, it had on me. I was also aware that had I been living somewhere else I may not have had an opportunity to access basic services. So I, I had it clear in my mind for a long time that this was an injustice I wanted to do something about. So I trained as a doctor, became an ophthalmologist, um, worked in the NHS for nearly 10 years and towards the end of that period became very interested in doing global eye health. So I moved to the London School of Hygiene and Tropical Medicine to do a PhD, really to try and understand the difference between managing an individual to managing a population. I learned a huge amount in terms of the different roles and requirements needed to serve a population. Um, and it was through that journey that PEAK was formed. There was a, a moment in one of the clinics I was working in in Kenya, where I literally worked from the morning through to the night with queues of patients the majority of whom were unnecessarily visually impaired and I realised that I could spend the rest of my life doing these clinics and we would still not make a difference. Um, and it became clear to me that I was going to have to move from being a clinician to doing something else if I really wanted to change this. So I'm deeply convinced that um, we need um, qualitatively different ways of approaching health, particularly in low in, uh, income uh, settings. Just transposing um, systems from Europe that are demonstrated failing, you know, and that trying to impose on countries that are developing systems is not going to work. And it's actually, I think, unethical. There's thought to be around two and a half billion people globally who are not accessing basic eye services, and many of the people who go on to be visually impaired or blind don't need to be. How do you make what we were making happen in Kenya at a small scale happen at a big scale and without me? Um, so how could you do it when there are so few ophthalmologists and there are so few optometrists? How could you empower people who didn't have the same level of training to deliver many of the tasks that were necessary to identify those who needed care? Those are problems that are solvable by entrepreneurialism, technology and commercial organisations that are self-sustaining. We focus on enabling professionals to do their job at greater reach and greater scale. So um, I'm involved in understanding from a professional um, global health perspective, how tools can be making them more effective, what's their workflow and what engagement with PEAK makes sense for them. We draw strengths from every sector that has an opportunity to, to help us. And that includes the private sector in terms of skills and funding, but the academic sector, the public sector in terms of governments and policy, and NGOs and sort of third sector organisations. Um, and really we see ourselves as a hub of that ecosystem and bringing them all together. To date we've been incredibly fortunate to get funding from um, major organisations such as the Queen Elizabeth Diamond Jubilee Trust, um, from crowdfunding backers to get Peak Retina to market, from various other people who have contributed in different ways. In the long term for us to be able to be strategic in how we cause impact, we need to be creating income by causing impact rather than creating impact and finding income from another source because then we're always split between looking for income and, and trying to cause impact. So our ambition is to be generating impact in the places that need it most whilst returning a revenue that supports that activity to continue indefinitely. We're now in this process where we, we think we know how to scale it. We've got a lot of hypotheses that we want to test, but we want to make sure that we lock this into a structure that means that we're always chasing impact over income. And so the way we're structured as an organisation is we have the parent organisation, the Peak Vision Foundation, and the subsidiary <coughs> Peak Vision Limited, which is the trading company. The trading company is making all of the apps, is making the hardware and the service offering that goes around the hardware, is developing the systems and the programmes that we're delivering on the ground. So by 2020, we want to be in a place where we've built all of those things and they're being delivered, and we're delivering them um, at a charge. So we're offering value that people are willing to pay for because it's extending their reach and we're attaching our income to that impact. So the income that will then come back to the company will mean we can deliver this sustainably. And if we make a profit over and above our running costs, that all gets returned to the foundation. The foundation then focuses on key areas of people, knowledge and tools. I think a lot of the, the main elements that enable enterprise and innovation to happen exist in iHealth. Um, we have a known problem set, 
we, we know um, many of the solutions and actually the innovative bit is how to take those solutions to solve the problem that we know exists. And I think Peak's biggest innovation, if we, if we get it right over the next few years, is, is being a demonstration of how a social objective can be met through a self-sustaining organisation. So what we're hoping to do at Peak is really help unite um, around new ways of doing things and provide new um, benchmarks um, that people can, can measure themselves against and really drive a big improvement in quality of service for both the beneficiary and the organisational level. And that's what really excites me. I think in a year's time we need to have proved that we're actually delivering value to our constituents who are the professionals and the organisations delivering eye care in the world. Part of that proof needs to be to understand the impact that we're having. Are we following through from the potential of our tools all the way through to individuals around the world getting um, clinical and, and life enhancing benefits? In five years time I think the level of scale that we're dreaming of is in the hundreds of millions of people benefiting. Um, new people benefiting from eye care that without the sorts of things that people are bringing wouldn't be able to be accessing that eye care. So providing a, a magnifying effect to all of those services so that millions more people can get onto the medical grid to receive the treatments that already exist but are kept from them through logistics and other problems.